Fortunately, the misguided interceptor torpedo was exploded, presumably by the Rocket Man, popular name given the sensational phenomenon observed in the skies over this vicinity yesterday. The question arises, is the strange human-like object a visitor from another planet? Or, as seems more likely, does it represent an effort to overcome the evil that has been threatening science associates? If Dr. Balkan should suspect that you're a Rocket Man, your life would be in as much danger as mine was before you brought me here. Let's hope I can get the jump on him. At least we can now assume that Dr. Vulcan is a member of Science Associates. Yes. It was only members of that group that knew enough about the secret rocket to arrange his theft. And Vulcan, whoever he is, will be most curious about the identity of Rocket Man. Well, I'll try to spot him when I go to the lab for the meeting today. Be careful, Jeff. I will. So long. Goodbye. Bert Winslow described the sound of flight as resembling that of Millard's experiments. Sonic propulsion. Yes, but no trace of Millard or his experiments were found after the explosion in the laboratory. And you, King, were the only one of us who believed Professor Millard's theories of sonic propulsion practical. Are you intimating that I might be the mysterious rocket man, gentlemen? Not necessarily. But you worked with Millard. Yes, sir. What is it? Linda Thomas just called. She snapped a picture of the rocket man in flight and has developed a good negative. A picture of the rocket man? Does it show who it is? No, the negative is too small for purposes of identification. Shall I give her permission to release it for publication? No, it's too dangerous. Dr. Grafton is right. As committee investigator, I should make a study of the negative. By all means, it might contain a valuable clue to the secret of construction. If the photograph is of any value to us, either for identification of the mysterious rocket man, or the method of flight, I'll report on it. Haven't you anything to say, Professor Conway? No. No, I'm in agreement. We'll adjourn until we can have your report. Where is the photograph, Bert? Miss Thomas told me I could pick her up at the press club and see the negative in her apartment. Good. I'll meet you there at 2 o'clock. Right.
Durkin, I think we may be able to stop Rocket Man from any further interference with our plans. There's a picture of him in flight. Glenda Thomas. Apartment 15. Piedmont Arms. Right. I'll find that negative before Jeff King gets there. Jeff will know. He should be here any minute. This is Dawson, 83469. I don't think the telephone bell is working. Will you test it? I'll hang up. Hello? Yes, operator. It's ringing now. Yes, this is Glenda Thomas. This is Jeff King. I've been unavoidably detained here at the laboratory. Is it possible for you to bring that negative down here? Of course. See you in a little while. Jeff King wants us to bring the film to the laboratory. He's probably busy with an experiment. Thomas. This is Jeff King. I've been unavoidably detained here at the laboratory. Is it possible for you to bring that negative down here? Of course. See you in a little while. Jeff King wants us to bring the film to the laboratory. He's probably busy with an experiment. boss would have paid me a pretty bonus for this little gem. And mine will, lady. Thanks for finding it for me. got away with that film. Glenda's trailing him. They must have headed for the Ridge Road. 
speaking. Did you get the film? Yes. Shall I bring it to you now? Where are you? In the ridge route approaching Coldwater Junction. Stand by. See if you're in the clear. Right. I think you're being trailed, Rickon. Look behind you. Recognize that car? Looks like a car that was parked in front of the dame's apartment house. All right, I'll handle it by remote control. Come on in. Right, switching off. 